Have you been messing with the calibration of the site? You need a lot of help. I know. From you. You're a creepy, paranoid wreck of a man. Thanks, Trevor. Flat cat. Lady Michelle feeling good about them quarters. Stakes all around. Look at that! Yeah, put him up. Oh, it's you. What are you idiots up to, huh? Мы здесь защищаем честь Америки. Это предназначено судьбою. Гордая страна, которая может совершить геноцид и назвать это волею Божией. Fella can't speak. Two words of English, but he knows this is the best country. Jesus! Hey, hey, what's that? The illegals ruining the place. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's, let's go. Get in. Get in. Rachen. You still got that stun gun? Oh, good man. Always prepared. Oh, oh, the depths old troll for 500 bucks. You two are completely loco. If you'll forgive my use of Spanish, you do know what that means, right? You spout all this hippie nonsense, but I know you're a patriot, Trevor. I can just tell by looking at you. We had our eye on this fella for a while. Illegal farming, bartering of goods, deep into a shadow economy. Ooh, sounds like a real menace. So, what happens to these criminals after you apprehend them? Okay, give me a cloak so I can incapacitate them humanely. Got them! Hey, civil border... Patrol, keep your hands where I can see them. This is a citizen's arrest! Not you lunatics again! 
You could have killed me! Get in a vehicle now, sir! Dvigai! Dvigai! Okay! Okay! Good work, boys. <laughs> now head for the cement factory. We got reports of more illegals working over there. Where are you taking me? This is a kidnapping. This is time for you to go home to Mexico, sir. What are you talking about? This is my home. I have my papers right here. Oh, yeah? Well, let me see that. Oops. Is Rook Viscacini? You won't get away with this. I report you! <laughs> you want to report me? <laughs> Are you sure this old man's a threat to American freedom? Sure as I've ever been about anything. Jesus, you're a real fuckwit. How'd you get your hands on this patrol car? Uh, I'm a proud park ranger, my friend. A trained security professional enjoying his time off. There on the bike. Step on it, Trevor. Well, now that's an admission of guilt. If I ever saw one, probably cartel members or child molesters. Oh, look at them. Where's the moral code, huh? Half the country's on spring break, while the other half's murdering each other for cocaine. How do people like you still assist? We'll come back for him. Don't let the other one get away. an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. Probably cartel members or child molesters. Who the hell are you guys? Who the hell are we? Well, we are American. Gorde Americanzi. He doesn't even speak English. Yeah, but he can sing the national anthem like a choir boy. We'll come back for him. Don't let the other one get away. <laughs> oh, chill. Civil border... Okay, okay. Let's go, buddy. You're coming with us. Yeah, yeah, underlay, underlay. Come on, move. In the vehicle now. I said move or I will zap you again. I'm getting in, okay? Crazy assholes. Not a half measures guy, are you? I love it. All right, fellas, well, let's go back for the other one. Are you out of your freaking mind? арестован за преступление против демократии. Well, good work, everyone. Thanks for the help, Trevor. You're a fine patriot. We'll take it from here. Take it from here. Citizens reporting. 
You're impeding national security, boy. We made Uncle Sam proud today. Make me look good, my friend. I've trodden shits with more brains. Dick. Party time, ladies. All right, shit, it's time to go.
Someone grab my purse! Take your man! Get back here now! Call it a crisis of conscience. Who says chivalry is dead? I only wish more people were like you today. It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli. Mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle.
there's a fucking price on me and you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job. What are you doing? You ain't allowed in here! actually. Any more you bitches wanna get in my way? Where's Enzo? Where the fuck is he? I'll blaze all you fools if I have to. He's here! Get that punk! I'm putting you out of business, motherfuckers! Do not let him through! You hear me? We need backup! Enzo's gonna have so much balls to this! You wanna fuck with me? I'll lay all y'all ass down. Someone put a bullet in me. I ain't playing here. Where the fuck is Benelli? He's covering me! Oh shit, there!
It's taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. La Puerta. Right away, sir. Speed it up, homie. I guess you're in a hurry. Spot, right? Keep telling myself, it's the same sun out of here. Oh, hi. Martine, hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look, I'm gonna find a way to make this right with you. That will take some doing! I'm not talking to you until you calm down. You drugged me and ditched me on the sidewalk? A talk is the least I'm owed. Don't you see the drugging is like a symptom of your own breakdown? Oh, I'll give you symptoms. How's a cracked skull sound? Goodbye, psycho. Get some help. Desert roses blooming here. Well, if it ain't Trevor's weird buddy. Ah, you're Trevor's creepy friend. You're pretty creepy. 
Oh, it's Trevor's even weirder friend. I don't see you in nine years, now you're back all the time? Come here! I want to talk to you. Oh. Yeah. What brings you in today? Stop the car now! You got some beef with the ballas or something? What the fuck? Now that's a custom job. Look at Sharp. Roger, what do we do? <laughs> Hairpin turns are going to be F-U-N.
It better not be you who stole my truck! Hey, Trevor's weird friend. Hi. Dad. Hey, kid. How about a bike ride or something? I'm still not ready to see you, Dad. Sorry. Uh, you reach Joe, please leave a message in American, i.e. English, after the tone.
Either I got too many eggs in the basket or some barons went bad, but this load don't feel right. Feels a bit like when I lost the load outside my city one time. That was a hell of a fright, I'm telling you. But that's what happens when you pleasure yourself while driving. I'm just saying, you get flown out here. They deported you. Why do you care? Well, I don't. Except that they paid me some money. That must feel good. What a proud patriot you are. So, when are they kicking you out? They can't kick me out, stupid man. Why not? My family has been here 200 years. I'm more American than you. Not that it's anything to boast about. Well, I'm sorry. Well, at least you got paid. You know, don't get all serious, okay? Anybody can make a mistake. Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your civil border patrol friends. You're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. Spend enough time with them. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with fucking people I don't like, all right? It's one of my favorite hobbies. Civil border patrol, man. Fuck you! You want to fucking die? You don't scare me. You owe my family a great debt. What? Our land is no longer safe. It's not my fault. You're so concerned. Clean it up for me. Your choice. And no, I will not give you one cent. Last I heard, your civil border patrol friends were bullying some people east of here at the Sancudo farm. Go le left on Ocean Highway. You'll see them. Leave me alone. I don't even want to look at you. I've said all I need to say. You know what you have to do. Go away, you crazy man. Listen, there's somebody else you can go and oppress. Oh, fucking civil border patrol! Involved with those nut jobs. Hey, Joseph, why don't you try that on me? Yeah, the sh removed from the gene pool. Stay out of this, you dumb Canadian! Oh, you just made this real easy for me!
If there's one thing I hate, it's a bully! Civil Border Patrol disbanded. Report. Assault with a deadly weapon on, um, Palaco Boulevard in Palaco Bay. Great! Police! Attention all units, we've got a 211 on a group deck security truck. Respond code 3. My marital aid.
Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody out there? This is Kitten Rider. Here for the magic touch? messing around with lump lizards. What the hell wrong with that? Cause you give truck driving a bad name. Why? Cause I get lonely and I want a woman to service me? It's called a service station for a reason. Those women are victims. They sure do act victimized when they get a smell of my junk that's been sweating in a truck all damn day. Smells like onion. You're a mess. How do you live with yourself? By having sex with lump lizards.
Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? 
It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why will be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster. You're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. And you're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. That made my point. I'm not a sadist. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Drive over to the empty lot with the open-top dumpster in it. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. already. You're gonna shoot 
the box. Car! This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Yes. Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going.
<laughs> he says, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Here you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. You sure this is the guy? Hello. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa su casa. I, I'll get a motel. Thanks. Well, that's what you Fine. I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Mm. My answering machine is... Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man! You 
going down! Dick! I don't mean to pry, but is it true about all them bikers that got killed? All you do is pry, Melvin. It's the only thing you got left. I have been feeling fairly betrayed recently by the local community, yes, and seeking reparations for any wrongdoings. I always kind of liked Johnny K. Oh, oh you, oh, you did, did you? Well, there might still be a bit of him on the bottom of my foot if you're pining for a reunion. No, no. Just forget I said anything. Whatever I can do to not piss you off, I will do it. Had Cletus in here earlier, picking up something special for his girl. Bye for now. Cupcake. Hi there.
You! Again? I thought you were avoiding me for a living. I'm late for something, which makes you re- Listen, will you stop following me? Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. You want a sniff? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh man, it's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, sane, 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 sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty on. <laughs> I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you. He hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here, by calling L.S. and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. Apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, all right? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. It's nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit, they see us, man. We gotta stay on.
That's right, Chop. We're gonna fuck him up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We're coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Shit, shit, shit! Get on me! Hey, let's roll on this fool, Chop! Do it! Oh, shit! <laughs> Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? Nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's.
Come on, Mike! Hey, get it together! We ain't found them yet! Unless Moose has started walking on two legs. You want to show mercy to the last of these innocents? They're going to be heading to higher ground. Check the hill. I think he's right below your sight. Good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning.
We did it! Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. going on there? What the fuck, man? They're trying to kill me. Squeal again and I'll blow your damn head off. Now I already asked you nicely. Where? Walk the fuck. Go away, pal, or you got the same problem. Came along. Come on, let me sort you out. I gotta get my armor back on track. Over here, I got some paper stashed in the car. And at no point did you think about giving that to the guys about to kill you. Them bikers ain't right in the head. Who blasts a fool over a half a key? Drug dealers who don't get paid, that's who. No joke, dog. I prayed for a crazy motherfucker, and the big man came through. This is for you. You earned it. Now, nah, we should bounce. That's like six burpees right there.
You're just gonna stand there while I burn to a crisp? You got any cabs available? Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Thank you. Hey, my man, where you going? Lido Forest. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Speed it up, homie. Hold down to your butt. This is as far as I can go. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Push it! Sixty-nine, seventy! Stop looking at my ass! I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for, a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. Doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you! You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. <sighs> I wonder why your ass is single. Perfect beach start! I got this locked in! Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady. Damn! 
Damn, that's cold. Don't be a baby. Mommy's not here. I'm your mama now. What are you doing, Marianne? Focus. Focus. T1, baby. Here we go. I always pace myself on the swim. But now the hammer comes down. Not with you! Not enough in the tank. I should have tapered. Did you taper? What the hell are you talking about? Scaling down training before a race. Hey, you fucking tapered! You out of your fucking mind! The first I knew about this. Be in your skinny ass on the beach! survive. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning. All right, we gotta keep going. I'm a loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser. Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out. Go to hell. I need a cab as soon as possible. I'm really sorry. I don't have any free cars right now. God, I thought I was dead for sure. I didn't even know where the hell we are. Uh, you couldn't give me a ride, could you? Yeah, sure. Shit, I ain't gonna just leave you out here. This is a nightmare. I kept telling him it wasn't safe. I gotta make a call. 
Beppe, you need to come and get me. Yes, right now? I was just ten seconds away from getting whacked. Meet me in Vinewood Hills. I gotta get out of here. Anywhere. Okay, I got a guy coming for me. Vinewood Hills. Jesus, this is so messed up. Thank you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Yeah, I don't think they was digging that hole for fun. Those six sons of bitches. What was that all about? Just my dad, as usual. Ooh, too close. That was your dad? What? No. Yeah, I shouldn't really say, but what does it matter now? You're in the life, right? You can't handle yourself like you did and not be in the life. Have you heard of Sammy Bettino? Most people call him Sonny. No, why? The Gambetti family? Don't you watch the news? He was Don Gravelli's right-hand man. He more or less kind of ran the East Coast in the 80s and 90s. No? Well, that's my dad. Father of the year. They tried to pin a murder charge on him in 2007, and we had to go into hiding. Move out west. One day you're living the good life, the next you're moving around safe houses in rat hole hick towns where no one comes looking. And your friends back there? Just the latest in a long line of people who want to get back at Sonny Bettino. Could be something he's trying to run from the inside or someone else he squealed on. When he got pinched in 2011, he kind of copped a plea, gave up a lot of people. So he gets to sit in his five-star cell while I'm on the outside dealing with the consequences. My dad was many things, but I never thought he'd be a snitch. <laughs> Whereas you seem like you don't let nothing slip. What's there to hide anymore? It's all out there. They even wanted me to do a reality show. Wise bitches, daughters of mobsters, cat fighting, and broker. But of course he wouldn't let me. He's so protective. I've always been a daddy's girl. She could have fooled me. You wait until he hears about this. He'll flip his shit. Seriously. Everyone those two hicks ever talked to is gonna get hit. What's your name, by the way? Franklin. Franklin what? Now, I ain't sure I want to answer that. He's gonna want to know who saved my life. Franklin Clinton. You'll be made right for this. I promise. Yeah, yeah, if you say so.
That's my guy. Thank you again. I won't forget this. Hey, who this? It's Antonia Bettino. You know, the girl who nearly attended her own funeral out at Polito Bay? Oh shit, how can I forget? My dad wanted to make sure you were looked after. Now there's some money being wired to your account right now. Now I gotta get off the line. Thank you again. Please, I'm trying to forget where I am. Oh, it's Trevor's even weirder friend. Ten years of silence! Now you're like a bad smell. I'm late for something, which makes you really late for the same thing, bro. I'll see you there. Okay, so see you later. Can you please stop following me? Will you fuck off, T? Will you fuck off, T? Seriously?
miracle did you want me to perform? You! Again? I thought you were avoiding me for a living. Nice as this is, we got something to attend to, don't we? I mean, am I gonna see you there? All right, then see you later. Ah, you're Trevor's creepy friend. You're pretty creepy. Huh? Listen. Will you stop following me?
What's wrong with her now? This is some special op stuff. to give you a boost. If that car was a woman, I'd kiss her.
Have you been messing with the calibration of the site? Well, if it ain't Trevor's weird buddy. I don't see you in nine years, now you're back all the time. Me and you got somewhere else to be, you doofus. Come on, meet me there. Yeah, then see you later. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's... It's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey! You mother... Hey! Why? Enough! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now, he would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, you grab the tape, they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Does that uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. Come on, we got a score to take. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Uh, shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Chef, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? T, man. You could just as easily. You tell them. I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was uh, part of the interview process, I guess is how you'd call it. Trevor knew I could cook, 
Wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town. Stood to reason he had funds. Next thing we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them anyhow. 50k. He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. Eh, hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, share? Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Dive pack went off, home. Money was useless then. Dive pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Uh, I've got my work, I've got my life. Uh, I never the truth shall meet. If we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die back? All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you! We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. I gotta go! It's number two! Y'all ready? Let's go! Is this happening? We want a few minutes of your time. Get down! Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor, now! You and you, out from behind the counter. That's it, hands in the air. M, keep an eye on our trusted employee. Okay, you got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. I think the door is ready. Get over here and kick it Stay in. Stay down. <laughs> Time to meet this alarm guy. Fucking shoot him. Not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back. We got hostages. <laughs> Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing these some bad guys. Time to face the music! Sweet mother shit. There is no way out!
Price of gas keeps on rising. Lateral damage, Chief. I got a minigun, you humorless prick. They got eyes in the sky. Chief, down the bird. Look out, it's coming down. It's coming. Let's go. Move. I got you covered. Come on, move, move! Go, team. Come on, team. I don't have time for your bullshit. You know what? I think I would prefer the cops behind you. Why ain't one who's got friends in the back? You ain't got a Lovely home. Yeah, the only thing your crib's missing is a pool with a burning helicopter in it. Keep behind the car! We gotta push through this roadblock. We got a window! Let's move! Top car! It's coming! T, 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 man, 
another fight in the tank. We gotta move it, like right now. If we all go, they'll get behind us. How about I push this way while you link with Franklin? Then we get out the track. Sounds like a plan. Gee, your guy's good. Hey, I thought I was paying out for another idiot. All we gotta do is hold this position till Franklin gets here. Easier said than done. The longer our tanks get here, the fewer notes we'll have. Tight, man. All right, this is it, man. You okay? I ain't dead yet. I'm on my way. Hey, man, these guys are every fucking weird. How many dudes they got in this private army? Hey, you blocking the wrong road, man! Hey, asshole! Hey, what have I done? Inside the group. You shot old man, huh? I'm grouped just fine. Now y'all look hot in the motherfucking them suits. Come on! The platform! Holy Jesus! Oh, on this little man! They're all over us! <laughs> Looks like this is the way out! Uh, go away! Who else would be fucking this up? This way, through the warehouse! Use me as cover, Frank. You don't want to get out front. Stay behind me, kid. I got the armor. I'm starting to feel underdressed, dog. How you doing back there, Frank? Put in reinforcement! Team, uh, come in. I'm trying to hold these guys. Where are you? We ducked into a chicken factory to get away from the tanks. Chicken factory? How you doing? There's even more of these bastards! We punch through, we get clear! Come on! Paychecks no good when you're dead, you ass! So I guess we shooting our way out of here! Hell of fucking bricks! Last call! Could be our only way out of here! Kid! You still alive? There's a ground team on the way to the factory. I might be able to get the drop on them. Alright, you do what you can do, Chef. I'm glad you got hired for the job. There's some guys trying to get in here. Chef's holding them off. Might give us the window we need to jump a train. The platform! Let's go! I think they think there's more than one of me! They're pulling back! Okay! Hey, slip out of town and call Lester for instructions. I got news. You're wasted at Trevor Phillips Inc., my friend. Chef caught us a break, people. Let's get our train. Let's hop the train. Come on! Here we go. Right here. Get on. Fucking ah. Ah. <laughs> it. 
Let's go. Yo. Ah. Easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, <laughs> you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you're expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay. And here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh, yeah. It's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once operations save the world to go. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you, home. Right. Fuck. Suit up. Serious? Back to fucking civilization.
Damn, you got off lucky, homie.
Hey there, pussy. Are you watching? This is safer than crossing the street. Shit, bullshit. Well, the less people have died doing this than crossing the street. How about that? <laughs> they called me insane when I said sell all your American equities. And now look at this shithole. Come on, lady boy. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> yeah! History coming at you live! Oh, shit, man. It's all good. You got this. Safer than crossing the road, huh? Aim for that flatbed truck down there! Truck? What fucking truck? The one that's accelerating, dog! Yeah, I see it. Okay, whatever you say, man. Oh, look who put on his big boy pants this morning. Ah. Truck! The one that's accelerating, duh! Ha-ha! <laughs> Boom! Fear cocktail with the twist! Shaken, not stirred! Drink it in, big guy! Yeah, I see it! Okay, whatever you say, man! Truck! The one that's accelerating, duh! Ha-ha! Boom! Fear cocktail with the twist! Shaken, not stirred! Drink it in, big guy! Yeah, I see it! Okay, whatever you say, man! Truck! The one that's accelerating, duh! Ha-ha! Boom! Fear cocktail with the twist! Shaken, not stirred! Drink it in, big guy! Yeah, I see it! Okay, whatever you say, man! Truck! The one that's accelerating, duh! Ha-ha! Boom! Fear cocktail with the twist! Shaken, not stirred! Drink it in, big guy! Yeah, I see it! Okay, whatever you say, man! Franklin, it's me, Jeff. I'm gonna drop you at the garage on Elgin, okay, Dom? Gangster by night, parachuting pussy by day. Oh, 
Oh, you should make that your log line. Sales, bro. Who's buying? Not me. Overpriced. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, we'll hook up over at the Landak Reservoir, and I might shift your rating from sell to a hold. Done. <laughs> Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. This is Dr. I just speak into the thing? What? This is a humiliation too far. No one in this town answers their own phone. And I'm supposed to be on my own answering machine? Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand, you understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor, the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. 
Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be fucking good! Oh. Oh. Jesus. Fuck. Ah, oh. man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Be under Rat Canyon Bridge in a boat. We'll stay in touch on the headsets. Meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. to ensure for air travel. It's freight service run by, oh, wait for it, our good friends at Meriwether Security Consulting. Oh, 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 Meriwether? Eh, I knew you'd get antsy. Yeah, Meriwether. But it ain't nuclear codes or anything like that. Just straight up swag with private military protection. There better be enough for my needs as well as yours. And here she is, the practical train. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, getting changed? What if, what have you turned into? Uh. Don't leave without me! for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay. I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. getting changed? What if, what have you turned into? I've got a ticket! Hold up! Without 
A new conductor on this train. You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Toledo Station, all of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. Train ain't stopping here, boy! Far out, you under the bridge. Approaching the inlet now. I'll power through to the bridge. I'm living the life, my friend. It's quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Get your ass in there, Mikey! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. So you can come out as soon as you find something! It can't be this hard to find 
my treasure and the magical train. They're parachuting in now. Bro! I'm gonna run out of bullets at this rate. Come on! done this without that weird vest thing. We got a buzzard on our tail. You feeling alive? Juice pumping through your glands. My glands are just fine. Without the crashing trains, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. Need to get on land. Pull her up down the coast. Whoa, man! You work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job. Not your call to make. No, no, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. Oh. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? A couple kids pulling jobs, a big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep 
Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady, and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Hello? Townley's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. Agent Steve Haynes, man. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh, All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please, just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, right. ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, 
You want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on! Come on, Mr. Leisureware, Mr. Depressed Accountant! Let's go save America! Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit! Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 You're... no, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. Patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnt out bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes! be a great over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. Okay, using the oxyhydro cutter on the grill. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? That gas won't last forever, so cut smart. Instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard won funds. Ha! I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. Point. 
You sure this thing comes out where you think it does? The intel is good. We're 100 yards out. Ah, I feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davey? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. Final turbine, nearly there. There's the surface. We're inside the building. Swim over to the ladder. I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. <laughs> Lead the way. Bank robber, set your phaser to stun. Dave, you're on point. I'm leaving from the rear. Against the wall, quick! Let's get moving, people! Freeze! Now! Drop it! You're making a big mistake, buddy! Give him a sparky, Mike! Okay! Now hit the elevator! So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out, out, out! Ah! Grab the card. Now, up! How you feel about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. Clear. Let's go. Two lab geeks. Got to deal with them. <laughs> They're down. Let's go. Along here and to the left. Come on. Push through. Behind the wall. Security detail about to make a pass. They're on us. Make a judgment call. I dare you. Just a little pinprick. What can a pinprick do? Ask the monkey. Go on. A tiny umbrella. Oh! Clear. We move forward. Swipe us in. Come on. Lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. Open the door. What's going on? Door can only be triggered internally. Pause it. We got company. I'm on it. You! Hands up! The nerd went down. You want us to take out this door and you along with it? Speak up, guy. You're expendable. Get the nerve agent. This'll make me... the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Facility security has been compromised. Warning, warning. You got the right weapon? This shit's about to get real. 
Agency security! Let's keep moving! Duration unit. It's over in that container. Come on! Here we go. Get her on ice before the cell by. Ah! 
Uh, oh, FIB, special agent, I got this covered. Detain this man. Fuck you, I should detain you. I just took a bullet for my country. Pull it up. Get us out of here. What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties. Only self-inflicted ones. Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent. Ah, well, maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight. Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? I'm probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. He gave him the artifact. Now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. Well, what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor, but we both know I made a vow to my husband. <clears throat> I know! You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. <laughs> For some reason, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. <laughs> you treat you! I know. I know.
No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Uh, good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for the statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. This is Cletus. I miss you already.
the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah. With every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Trevor? <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip! Exactly! Oh, Trevor, have you got all over yourself? You're all red! You got... you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accident. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just... no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Here we are. What do you think? So, 
This is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy not like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Look at this. I'm practically at work.
fuck out of getting Sorry, suspicious of the rat tripping Stupid on Stupid motherfucker! I ain't tripping on that, though. Lucky miss! Yeah, hello. <sighs> Who is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. Our time together. It's very important. I have to go. win-win for both of us. Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, thing. Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time. Okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How oh, about you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy. Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he he was my best friend. And now he has taken all of my clients. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. I love you. 
I love you. Lenny Avery.
Jesus. <laughs>